So now let's change the shape of the button. First, you need to unpack the prefab of these buttons. Well, inside of here, you will see button content and which is about the boundary as well as this cylinder. Well, we're not going to use say level, so I will just turn off where can, you can just delete it as well. And then I already created a Rhino model for this one, but inside of here, I changed meters, unit settings to the meters, and the size of this one is approx one meters. And then I save them into in the different layers. And then they also have their different materials. And just for your convenience later, it's better to have each object has a different name. And then let's export them inside of the option. Please make sure turn off export light, export views, and export vertex models. You only need to turn on this Rhino Z to FVXY and click OK. Go back to Unity and bring your button files, FVX files, to over here. And then inside of the round buttons, just drag and drop your button models to here, the con cylinder container. And we need to unpack this. Well, inside of there, you will see different uh, parents and children. But all we need to use is this actual object, which is button and as well as button boundary. So let's take it out. And this button goes to the on top over here. We don't need just empty object, but the, uh, this button boundary, we need to actually turn, I mean, we need to rotate. Well, I made a mistake. Button should be inside of the cylinder container and the uh, boundary is going, is, it will be at outside. So select this, we need to rotate them. It's going to be approx like this. Right, so for this, in this case, we need to do a little bit of manual. Okay, and let's do the same thing for our button boundary. So for that, right click the rotation and you can copy all the angles and then copy paste into over here. Now we have the uh, same rotations and we don't need original object so you can delete or turn it off. And maybe we want to bring it down a little bit. Something like that. Okay, it's time. I think it's, we can use it right now. Mm -hmm. To change the color of the button, what we just input is just select the pressable round button again. And now you will see underneath of the profile, the target is actually cylinder. So we need to change the target to our button. And now if you play it, even though it was looks like the purple, now it has been changed into the same as our our color theme. All right. So now we have the uh, different shape and different color button. And now maybe we want to have opposite direction to the uh, third button. So for that, actually, this is even easier than before. All we need to do is just copy and paste previous models. I will duplicate this button, control D, control D, and bring this one to over here. and bring it over here and let's rotate it. Okay, now I think we can turn off both original model. Okay, maybe we can bring it down a bit. All of them. 
something like this. And inside of the button too, I will just leave this button, but maybe I just want to turn off this tag. Now we have changed every shape of the buttons and colors.